Hello and welcome to the next video in the how to series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the command line interface, how to CLI. So I'm going to clear this right here and let's get started. So if we go over to the code real quickly and we go down to the package JSON, you'll notice there's a script in here called CLI. And what it's going to do is it's just going to run node command CLI which tells me that there is a little script in here called CLI that we're gonna run that orchestrates some really cool things for us. So let's go back over here and just let's run npm run CLI. So the fact the script called it CLI is, what, is why we're doing now run, npm run, and then the name of the script, which is CLI. So let's hit it and up pop some questions. What would you like to do? Would you like to create a schema? Would you like to create a front end module? Let, let's first by just creating a schema. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Do you want to create a custom schema? Yes. All right. Let's say name. It's a string. Let's say null. Do you want another field? Yeah, I want to add another field. What's an example? Let's say age. It's a number. Yeah, no. No. And there we go. And now it's going to output our schema for us. And look at that. And I like it. Straightforward to use. So let's go down to the next thing. So the all the questions are still up. If you want to get out, you can hit exit or you can keep going. Uh, you could also come in here, change the user's password, change the user's roles, just overall view a user, create a front end module, just create a back end, or you can create both at the same time. And it's as easy as coming in here and just hit enter, giving it the name, test. In this case, no, we don't want a custom schema. And boom, it goes off and creates everything we need. We can exit, be done with it. And now if we scroll on over to the code, open up our server folder, go into modules, you'll notice that there is a folder called test. Now, when we talk about how, this is how to use it. We're going to go in later on how to develop more inside of it, but we'll leave you with this. If you want to change the templates, you can easily come into the commands folder, go down to templates, and change all of this stuff up. Just follow the convention of anything underscore underscore name and anything underscore underscore capital name will have the name of whatever. So we put test, so this capitalized test and also did a lowercase test. So you just gotta follow this convention of what we have so far and you'll be good to go. Now, look forward to that next video on how to actually do more of the CLI and we'll be in touch. Oh, can't forget, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us on social media. You can find us probably anywhere really or find us on our website.